Hi, and welcome back to Bean Talk. Today I want to talk with you about a new coffee product that I recently purchased and want to show you. The Otto. If you're new to our channel, my name is Bean Talk Coffee News and we like to talk about all things coffee. So whether this is product reviews like today or recipes or if we visit a local coffee festival, we like to do it all. If you like our videos, please hit the like and subscribe button, it would mean a lot. Let's talk about the Otto. The Otto from Goat Story is a new kind of Jeffrey Ibrick coffee maker. So for those people that are not familiar with that, it's basically, usually it looks like this in a traditional way for making Turkish, Greek or Arabic coffee. We have one of these where you put in ground coffee, some water and heat it up either with a stove or with a burner like this. Maybe just briefly talking about Turkish coffee. Um, it's quite interesting because it's one of the oldest ways to make coffee. I think it's dating back to like the 1400s, has therefore a rich history. While you can get and drink it a lot in countries like Greece or Turkey, right here in Austria, for example, it's not as common to try it, but it's actually getting a bit of a comeback now. There's also world championships from the SAA in making Jeffrey Ibrick coffee. Let's talk about the Otto. The Otto looks quite cool. To be honest, it's available in a few different colors. I chose the orange just because I really liked it. It's made of stainless steel, so perfect for making all sorts of beverages. And you should not have any residues of the coffee sticking on there with a nicely matte finish here and a rubber grip here. So you don't burn your fingers. Always quite good to have. So let's start and make coffee with it. Small disclaimer here, I do not have a lot of experience making Turkish coffee. For all those people that are more experienced with it, of course, I like to hear your tips down in the comments how I could improve my Turkish coffee game. So let's start making some coffee. Okay, so we're preheating our sand bed here a little bit because of the sheer size of the auto compared to uh, more common Ibrik and the higher volume. We tried it out before and it was actually without preheating the sand, it was not hot enough for it to properly boil up. So while, like I said before, with the Otto, you can also use an induction stove, for example, for more traditional Ibriks, you usually use a construction like this with a gas burner underneath. And up here, there's some sand just to have a more even distribution of the heat. Let's start by putting in some hot water with about 60 degrees Celsius. And we want to use a ratio for brewing of one to 10. So we'll put in 300 ml of the water, which is the recommended recipe from Goat Story. Then put in 30 grams of very, very finely ground coffee. This is even finer than espresso for the reason that we don't have a filter here. We want the coffee to kind of get to the bottom of the auto so that we don't have too much in our drink. Now that we put it in, we will stir it a little bit, about 10 to 15 stirs. And now let's put it up here and start. Now we have to wait. In more traditional ways, you usually you boil up the coffee about three times that the coffee would actually start rising up until it's at the top of the Ibrik, then let it cool down a little bit and then do this three times. In more modern ways, you don't do this anymore. You usually just want it to boil up once because for the simple reason that otherwise the coffee will get too hot and you would exceed like 93, 94 degrees Celsius. And after that, you would just burn the coffee and you would have a burnt kind of bitter taste in your Turkish coffee. We don't want that, of course in more traditional ways, they often also put some spices or sugar in it. So then of course you wouldn't taste this bitterness so much, but we don't want this. We just want to make pure coffee. So let's turn it back a little. Now it's boiling hot. Let's sit a little bit and then we will try. Let's get some cups. And I was told you should not pour it out too slow and not too fast, which was very helpful information. Mm. 
let it sit a little bit so we don't drink all of the coffee grounds in there so they can settle down to the bottom of the cup a little bit. At this point, I once again want to apologize to any people that are actually more experienced with the Ibrik. If I made some errors, I'm sure I did. I hope you don't take it personal. Let's try it. Still very hot. So, usually you wouldn't try this with something sweet. So whether this is a Turkish delight or a date. So I brought some chocolate covered dates to enjoy with the coffee. I can highly recommend the combination of the date with the Turkish coffee. That's really good. And the Turkish coffee in general. This definitely took longer than it should have. So I messed up on this part, or maybe this was just not enough power. Next time I will try it on an induction stove. Maybe then it heats up faster and works better. So this was the recommendation to use 300 milliliters of water, 30 grams of coffee. Usually use like seven grams and 70 milliliters. So definitely a lot less this of course might be the reason why it took forever for this to boil up for next time i know but still tastes really good i'm quite surprised it's not bitter at all i used uh, coffee from brazil a natural uh, cup in branco it's really nice smooth chocolatey not bitter at all even got a little bit of sweetness and yeah um actually quite surprised from the taste to be honest that was the Otto from Goat Story and Ibrik from the 21st century. That's it for today. Please let me know if you're interested in buying this or generally in making Ibrik coffee or if you have more experience in making it. Uh, put it down in the comments. And yeah, that was it for today from Bean Talk. And I will see you next time. Until then, drink loads of good coffee. Bye.